just got home from morning practice. It's breakfast time. Hey, good morning everybody. It's Thursday, uh, the day after Valentine's Day. I just got home from morning swim practice and I just made breakfast. If you guys have ever watched my vlogs before, you might have seen me eat this in a previous vlog. We have a salad with mixed greens, bell peppers, and oranges. Bagel sandwich, my favorite bagel sandwich. A bowl of berries. Some beet juice that Allie and I made yesterday with a little bit of carrot juice in it. And electrolytes. So, Thursday morning swim practice is skills, drills, and stations. We do a dive station where we work technically on our dives. And we have a video review station so I can watch myself and make sure that you know mechanically I'm doing things right. Um, we have a kick station where we hook up a pole cord to our hip and attach it to the wall and you swim out halfway and you get the right amount of tension and then you kick and you work on your stroke technique. Stuff like that this morning. The workout is a lot of peer coaching, a lot of critiquing one another, you know, working with my teammates, um, you know, watching people's underwater kick, making sure their knees when they do breaststroke kick aren't too far apart, make sure they're nice and tight, you know, making sure that the out sweep of the pole is, is really fast, um, the recovery of the pole is, is really hitting your body line and extending all the way forward. You know, those are, it's a kind of practice where we really work on the little details. You know, we don't really focus on doing a lot. We, we focus on doing things the right way, right? Um, quality over quantity this morning. After I finish eating, I'm going to go to my PT's office. John, he's going to work on me a little bit, make sure everything's running smoothly with my body. And then this afternoon I have a breaststroke group. It's gonna be a really big practice. That's one of the biggest practices I have of the week. It's a lot of breaststroke. It's a lot of high intensity breaststroke um, with a lot of technical work. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I love Thursday afternoon. All right, just got to John's office. Really quickly, people keep asking me what are some of my favorite snack foods? What do I eat before practice? What do I like to have at meats? Currently, I'm in a dried apple phase. I'm obsessed with dried apples. I don't really know what brand this is. Nutty and fruity, 100% natural apple rings. So there's no artificial preservatives, no added sugar. These are my favorite apple rings right now. Also, I'm obsessed with granola, and my favorite brand right now is Purely Elizabeth. Yeah, really healthy uh, granola that's sweetened with coconut. I'm a pretty big fan of that, I, I dig that. I, I like that. I like those two things before workout because they're light and filling and they give me a nice boost of energy before I go work out. Okay, it's uh, time to run into John's office because it's raining out right now. <sighs> Hit it. Two hours later. And we're back at the pool, Thursday afternoon breaststroke practice. One question that I get asked about the most are what are quick ways that I can improve my breaststroke? People are always asking me how to improve their breaststroke. So I'll give you guys two tips. The two things that all breaststrokers, all the fastest breaststrokers in the world are doing right now are number one, they have a really narrow kick. So if you watch Lily King or Adam Petey's kick underwater, their knees are really close together and they bring their legs back behind them, almost like a dolphin kick, less like a traditional breaststroke kick where you bring your legs to the side. So instead of it coming out to the side, it's coming back and it's really fast and their knees are close together. The second thing is the recovery part of the stroke. So after the pull, when you shoot your arms forward, that is wicked fast. That is the fastest part of the stroke. Every breaststroker at the highest level in the world right now has a crazy fast recovery. So those two things, keep those knees a little closer together and make sure that recovery part of your stroke is super fast. If you focus on those two little things, I think it'll probably help your breaststroke. Okay, so I have to do this breaststroke practice by myself because everyone's on taper. So I'm trying to recruit someone to do it with me. Do you want to do it with me? No? Marco's in the vlog now though. Hey, do you want to do this breaststroke practice with me? <laughs> I'm doing my own breaststroke practice. I am doing the sole full breaststroke practice because everyone's on taper. Maybe join ours, it's also breaststroke. It's not breaststroke. <laughs> You're right. You're right. You're probably right. right. Margo, do you want to do the breaststroke practice with me? Margo loves breaststroke. Yes. <laughs> She's really good at it. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> this is breaststroke practice. Let me tell you. Three best average sets. Best average kick set, best average pull set, best average swim set. 425 is fast and then a 200 for time three times. One round kick, one round pull. And then we did a swim set and at the very end I did a 75 push for time. And I went a 41-2, which after all that swimming I'm pretty psyched about. I will link the full practice in the description below. And uh, yeah, love it. 
And that's the end of practice. Today the main focus was working on my pull out, making sure that after this, the pull down, when I bring my hands up, I'm not bringing my legs up at the same time. I found that I was getting caught up in that and it was slowing down my pull out, but we worked all workout on that and that was the emphasis. I think the biggest thing that people need to focus on is having one small detail to work on every single day and make sure they're constantly getting better at. And today for me it was that little thing, my pull out. So that's it.